There we go again. There we go again. Let us just not pay attention to all of this. Uh, we're going to pick up from um, uh, the book of Matthew 18. Matthew 18, and I'm going to read all the way from verse 21 up until verse 35. And it reads as follows. Then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me? And I forgive him as many as seven times. But Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but 77 times, 77 times. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts, accounts with his servants. When he began to settle, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. Verse 25, and since he could not pay, his master ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had and payments to be made. So the servant fell on his, on his knees, imploring him, have patience with me and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the master of that servant released him and forgave him. Thank you, Jesus. The master of that servant released him and forgave him the debt. But when that same servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him, he began to choke him, saying, Pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. He refused and went and put him in prison until he should pay the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed and they went and reported to their master all that had taken place. Then his master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. And should you not have mercy on your fellow servant? And as I had mercy on you, and in anger his master delivered him to the jailers until he should pay all his debt so also my heavenly father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart hallelujah the lord bless the reading of his word here this morning and uh, i'm gonna get straight into this so we can pick up from this uh parable in the book of uh matthew chapter 18 verse 21 and we read all the way to verse 35 now we can find uh, uh this parable that it it cleans it focuses it looks into forgiveness it looks into forgiveness and there are several principles that we that will enable us to set us free and to set others free as we extend forgiveness now a few weeks ago i taught about this about forgiveness that we need to walk in forgiveness we need to forgive our brothers we need to walk in love uh, in the kingdom of god now we're going to look in this uh, passage in this parable as we break it down what lessons what principles can we pick up from these powerful lessons by the lord jesus christ now peter asked jesus about his obligation to forgive and I love this here. You see, uh, we are obligated to forgive. It, it, you, you don't have a choice in this matter. The Lord wants us to walk in forgiveness. We don't have a choice in this matter. So we are all obligated by God to forgive one another. You would remember Peter said to Jesus, how many times must, must my brother mess with me? H how many times must my brother make me angry? How many times must, must he work on my nerves? Just seven times, Jesus, I think that's enough. I'll forgive him up until seven. Uh, round number eight, I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to physically knock this brother out. But Jesus says, no, no, no. We cannot put a, a, a numerical uh, 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 value to this. It's got nothing to do with the number. But if you really want to uh, put numbers in this, Peter, I would say to you, instead of seven, how about 77 times? Jesus was trying to show Peter, listen, we got to walk in forgiveness. It doesn't matter how many times you've been hurt. It doesn't matter how many times people have wronged you and stepped on your toes. Jesus is obligating us that time and time again that we walk 
in forgiveness. This is one of the hardest thing I believe in, in the kingdom of God, in the body of Christ, is to forgive one another. One of the most difficult things to do in the kingdom of God, it is to forgive one another. But I love, I really love Jesus. This is a very powerful principle that many of us can live by. Let me tell you something that maybe you, you, you didn't know. The fact that you're born again, I can almost give you a guarantee. You, you got to live long enough to, to, to know that you will be hurt in church. You, you will be hurt in the kingdom of God. It is a reality. But Jesus was preparing us through his word. You got to walk in forgiveness. People are going to hurt you. People are going to hurt you in the kingdom. But forgive them always. Forgive them always. Now, listen to this. Jesus teaches us that forgiveness is rooted in God's grace and mercy. Forgiveness is rooted in God's grace and mercy. Um, the fact that we have been forgiven by God. I, I want you to take a look, you know, in, in your life, in the rear view mirror of your life, and you really, really, really think about the things that you engaged in. Your lifestyle before Jesus Christ. And if you think of that pardon, if you think of the grace and the mercy of God upon your life, you, you would help but want to forgive other people. Jesus paid the ultimate price. He forgave us of our sins. Now I'm speaking for myself here. I know what I did. I know what I got involved in. The Lord saved me. The Lord forgave me of, of my sin. Therefore, we owe it to our brothers and sisters to forgive them whenever they hurt us. Your family members, you will not only be hurt in the church. The reality is as long as we are in this world and we, we are still human beings, we are going to rub each other up the wrong way. So sometimes, you know, we, we, we can just spiritualize this thing and say, no, uh, the hurt is in the church. Not only in the church. Some of you watching, you, you've got issues with your family members, people that, 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 you know, you were born from the same mother, brothers and sisters. You are not talking to one another. You have no relationship whatsoever. But Jesus, according to his word, he says, forgive 77 times. Walk in forgiveness. So there is no numerical limit to this. There is no numerical limit to forgiving our brothers, to forgiving our sisters, to forgiving every person that has wronged you. There is no limit that to, to, to walking in that type of forgiveness. Now, I was talking about how because Jesus has, forgi has forgiven you and I, we are obligated. It is a non-negotiable when it comes to the kingdom of God. Some of you have been hurt in your marriages. Some of you have been hurt in the workplace. But the way to overcome is to continually forgive those people. And, and forgiveness is a powerful thing. Forgiveness is not a thing where you go to your corner and you just say, Lord, I forgive them. It is powerful to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is powerful to do that. But forgiveness is actually going to the person and, and looking them in the eyes and say, I, I, I forgive you. I, I release you. Look the person in the eye, face to face. I forgive you. This can bring much healing in your life. This can bring deliverance in your life. By facing this mountain and saying, my brother, my sister, my mom. My dad, you, you molested me as a child. You, you abused me as a child. I choose to walk in forgiveness today. I forgive you. I forgive you today. And I believe the Lord really wants to restore us as his children. The Lord wants us to enjoy our salvation. The Lord wants us to walk in the freedom of, of his uh, uh, sacrificial death. He died so that we might have freedom and really enjoy Jesus Christ, enjoy our salvation. So do not allow 
anger, do not allow unforgiveness to, to, and, and bitterness to, to stop you from enjoying this, this, this great salvation that Jesus paid a heavy price for. Don't walk in, in, in unforgiveness. Now, according to the scripture, the servant that owed the debt uh, that he could never repay, he owed the master, the king, a, a, an amount that he could not pay back. My God. But he pleaded with the master. He pleaded with the king. And the Bible says that he, he was released from uh, uh, um, from his, his debt. He was forgiven from his debt. But I, I want you to pay attention to the fact that um, this was a big debt. He was released of it a few steps away from the same situation where he's been forgiven, where he's been released. He finds somebody. I mean, how, what, what, how do you compare 12 million to, to 20 dollars? How, how do you compare $12 million to $20? You, you've just been pardoned of $12 million, a debt you could not pay. Yet you go and choke your brother, you strangle him, you, 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 you want the very life that's inside of him for $20. Jesus is teaching us something powerful here. You've been forgiven. God has given you mercy, has shown you mercy. And that's why this parable, uh, the, 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 the master, the master is, is likened to God. And, and the person that could not pay the debt is likened to you and I. Our sins were big enough. We could not pay enough for our sins. But Jesus in his mercy and grace, he forgave us of our sins. The Bible says God put the sin of the world upon Jesus Christ. Therefore, God is saying, if I could forgive you of your sin, it is important that you forgive others of whatever trespasses, of whatever issues that they have cost you. The only hope we have is God, God's mercy and grace. That's the only hope that we have. Now listen to this. In our parable, the servant needed mercy. He did not need justice, but he needed mercy. So he begged the king for patience, promising to repay the debt. But we are told that the king felt compassion on the servant and his mercy, and he forgave him of the debt, all of it. And this is what God has done for us, beloved. God went all the way to the cross of Calvary. He did not stop in the garden of Gethsemane and began to, 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 to negotiate with God. Jesus did not negotiate with God concerning all the way for our sins. He said, Father, I, I, I know that I'm about to drink from this bitter cup, but let your will be done. Let your will be done. He went all the way. There were no reservations on his side. He forgave us fully of everything that you and I, every sin that you and I has ever committed. It is done. God gave us a clean slate. Therefore, forgive your brothers. Forgive your sisters. Let's walk in love, beloved. Let us turn this thing around. Let us not allow the enemy to infiltrate and to penetrate the kingdom of God and to penetrate the house of God. A house divided can never stand. A house divided can never stand. Forgive, forgive, and forgive, and continue to forgive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I believe even when it comes to the house of the Lord, when we begin to display this act, this lesson, this powerful lesson of forgiving one another in the house of God, we're going to see how really God is going to restore the church. God is going to restore his house. What is the point of going to church? Yet there are people you don't talk to in the same church that you go to. There are people that you are angry with. There are people that we are gossiping about in the church. We are, we are born again believers. We, this, this is, this, we are not playing church. We are born again believers and we got to display that. 
If people have hurt you in the church, the least you can do is to be man enough or woman enough to face them and say, my brother, I, I heard what you said about me. I'm not impressed by it, but you know what? I'm, I, I'm not angry. I, I forgive you. It came to my ears. I heard about it, but I forgive you. Let's, let's change things around, beloved. Let us turn things around and really become these be the, the believers, the followers of Christ that we ought to be in the kingdom of God. Now, I'm coming to a land and we are going to pray that the Lord really is going to, to change our hearts. He, he, he is going to, to fill us with His love this morning. He is going to fill us with His love and saturate us with His love for our brothers and our sisters in the kingdom of God. Not only in the kingdom, but generally in our families, in our workplaces, that we will forgive those people that hurt us so deeply. Okay, so let us, let us just get to the, to the end of this before we pray together here this morning. Thank you, Jesus. I want to say to us that forgiveness is never easy. Forgiveness is never easy, but it is freeing. It sets you free. It's not about the other person, but for you, you, the one that is forgiving, it sets you free. When, when we postpone forgiveness... When we say, we, I'm, I'm, I'll do it later, this is what happens. It leads to resentment. When we postpone forgiveness, we end up despising those people that hurt us. We end up resenting them. Anger and bitterness comes into our hearts. A person who has an unforgiving spirit is always the real loser. It is not the other person that loses, but it is you that walks in unforgiveness that becomes a real loser. Bitterness will destroy you and steal your joy. It inevitably spills over into other relationships. If we walk in bitterness, it will not only end with this one particular relationship that was destroyed by anger and bitterness, but it will spill over to other relationships. Because the enemy likes to, to take advantage of the doors that we open up to him. Whatever door that we open, he capitalizes, he, he, he takes full advantage of the door that has been opened to him. So therefore, let us not allow him to destroy these godly relationships, these relationships that we've been building over the years. Let us not allow them to be destroyed by emotions and feelings of, of bitterness and, and unforgiveness. The Bible says, you know, that the sun must not set on our anger. We need to be a people that own up to our mistakes and also be, be the bigger person in everything that we do, especially when it comes to forgiveness. Even though you know sometimes that it was not your fault, be the bigger person. The Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are those that say, my brother, we, we, are, we, we have issues, you and I, but let's just reconcile. Even though you know you're not at fault, blessed are, though, are the peacemakers. Come on, beloved, we cannot act like the world. We, we, we cannot pay, do not, do not repay evil by evil. If they mess you up, be the bigger person and forgive one another. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When we don't forgive, bitterness and unforgiveness will destroy our fellowship with God. My Jesus. I want to ask us this question this morning, beloved. What burden of the past do you need to be freed from this morning? What burden of the past do you need to be freed from this morning? Whose face is the Spirit of the Lord uh, showing you this morning that you need to forgive that person? What is Holy Spirit showing you this morning? Which person must you forgive today? Allow the Lord to minister to you. Allow the Lord to show you those people that, that you, you're still harboring unforgiveness. You, you said you forgive them, but you really didn't forgive them. Who are those people? Allow the Lord to, to speak to you today. Maybe it's your spouse. Maybe it's your spouse. You are living under the same roof. 
but you know you haven't forgiven them. Maybe it's your friend, maybe it's your child, maybe it's, it's your boss, maybe it's your parents that abused you as a child. You name it. Who do you need to set free today? But more than anything, are you willing to set yourself free this morning by forgiving those people? Allow the Lord to, to minister to you this morning and release that anger. Release those feelings of bitterness. Release those feelings of unforgiveness this morning. The Bible says, you know, leave, leave your burdens at the foot of the cross. Jesus said, my burden is easy. My yoke is light. <clears throat> Give everything to Jesus today and allow him to work in your heart and forgive those people that have hurt you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We can just pray together as you pray for yourself in tongues this morning. Allow the Lord to deal with, with your emotions today in the name of Jesus. As we begin this powerful week that we will be free, free from bitterness, anger, and unforgiveness. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, let's pray together, family. Let's pray together and allow the Lord to, to, to build us once again, to build our lives and restore what the enemy has stolen in our lives this morning. In the name of Jesus. I really sense the peace of God this morning. I really sense the peace of God that God wants to give you peace this morning, beloved. God wants to impart his peace in your life this morning. Le baba si katala bariasta, kandolo bo si ke bredi de bo si amanda, kabra la bariosa brando rede bo si katala bashendi, re kando bo si kala la bashanta la la basia, re ke de de bo si amando, la brebe be se ke de bo sa, re kando ro bo si ala baba ba kande de de bo si amando, rabada ba sende de de bo sata la ba ye. Kila basando riba sikaya, kala basando riba basa, leke de de bosi ya baba, rando lo bosi kabrende, lando lo lo bosanda la la basi kiriya, riba baba basi katala la bandi. Come on, let's pray together. Let's just uh, allow the Holy Spirit to show you those people that you need to forgive this morning and begin to pray and mention them by name this morning. Before the Lord, before the Lord, mention them by name. In the name of Jesus. Rekando Boska Lebesia. Makatala Bazokodoro. Zekebrende Reba Siamanda. Lambro Boska Rike de Bosia Babaya. Kalabasokodobosia. Lebrebeska Labariasa. The Bible says we do not wrestle. Our fight is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers of darkness. So come on, right now we are dealing with the spirits that are operating behind those people that are hurting you. We are dealing with the spirits that are operating behind those people that are depressing you, that are, that are hurting you deeply. In the name of Jesus and Father this morning, we take authority over those spirits that wants to torment us to walk in unforgiveness those spirits that want to oppress us we take authority over them today in the name of Jesus every spirit of anxiety we take authority over you in the name of Jesus and I speak the peace of God right now I release the peace of God over your mind over your heart today in the name of Jesus the Bible says above all things guard your heart for out of it comes the issues flows the issues of life therefore father today I pray that we will guard our hearts we will not allow anger we will not allow bitterness to come into our hearts in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit I thank you that you fill every person that is watching today you fill them up you fill them up mighty God saturate every fiber of of their being in the name of Jesus and today we make the choice we make the choice to live in peace with our brothers and sisters we, we we choose today we make the choice to walk in forgiveness and to love our neighbors as we love ourselves in the name of Jesus father today where we've been hurt where we've been abused father I thank you that you remove every form of of of, of hate 
every form of, of anger, every scar, Father, that has been imprinted in, 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 our, in our minds, in our hearts. I pray for total healing in our emotions today in the name of Jesus. Father, be it our parents. We forgive them, Father, for hurting us. In the name of Jesus, Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Therefore, Father, in this morning, we forgive our parents, Father, where they have hurt us, our biological parents, our spiritual parents, those who have hurt us, we forgive them. In the name of Jesus, we forgive our brothers and sisters in the house of God, in the kingdom of God. Father, those that have caused a deep pain in our hearts, we choose today to walk in love. <clears throat> to walk in love in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I bless your name and I glorify you this morning. And I glorify you this morning. In the name of Jesus, I pray for the love of God to saturate your life today. The love of God, the love of God. Allow God to minister to you today. Allow God to saturate your life with his love today in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak that over your life this morning. In Jesus' name, you are being set free from unforgiveness. You are being set free today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you for delivering your people today. For deliverance is the children's bread. Therefore, Father, we choose once again to walk in love in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Even right now, if you have any prayer requests, beloved, um, we are here to serve you. You can just drop them uh, in the comment section. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sando. Dipulelo says, I struggle. The Lord, the Lord delivers you today, uh, Dipulelo, my, my dear sister. The Lord deals with, 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 with all that hurt in your life today. And the Lord is, is, is going gonna, is gonna to give you the ability. You will overcome. You will overcome uh, 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 unforgiveness in your life today. In the name of Jesus, release those people, uh, Dipulelo. Release them. And uh, my advice to you would be really face up, meet them, and... and uh, Speak to them and tell them that you forgive them. Whatever hurt that they have caused you, let us turn things around. The people need to see that we are really children of God and we really practice what we preach. Amen. The Lord bless you. Cindy Naidu, uh, bless you. Uh, Pelos Mbudu, thank you for joining this morning. Um, Bob said, it is like cancer inside of you. That's what, that's what uh, uh, unforgiveness does to us. Thank you, Jesus, that we can forgive every person that has deeply hurt us. Hallelujah. My God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody's thanking God for today's word. What's, what's their name there, Pastor Pinky? Nkodi. Oh, Nkodi, Arthur, from Cecilberg. Um, the, the Lord delivers you, my dear brother. The Lord sets you free, Nkodi. Uh, we are children of God. Let us walk in love. Let us forgive people that really hurt us. And um, we will really see God uh, also begin to move in our lives because unforgiveness becomes a blockage also to the, to the blessings that God really has for us in our lives. So let us not allow the enemy to use this as a weapon against ourselves, against what God really wants us to possess. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, family, let me take this moment to pray for you once again, as we usually do. Um, but I also want to say um, that um, I think for the next two to three days, we're going to be focusing on these parables, lessons to live by, the parables of Jesus Christ and how we can learn these really powerful truths through the words of Jesus himself. So let us pray right now. Um, 
for those people that are still believing the Lord for breakthrough in terms of work. Uh, we continue to pray. We pray without ceasing. And we will mention you by name until that breakthrough comes. We have to exercise our faith. We are not doing this in vain. Our labor is not in vain. You waking up every morning, you pressing into the presence of God, it is not in vain. The Bible says, do not grow weary in doing good for in due season you shall reap you shall reap. So let's just continue to pray right now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, I bring every person, I bring every person that is in need of employment before your throne of grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that you open up those doors of employment, those windows of opportunities. Father, will come looking for them in the name of Jesus. Every person that has an interview we speak success over your interview we speak favor over your interview in the mighty name of jesus let the father our heavenly father go ahead of you the breaker he makes a way for you the lord of the breakthrough he makes a way for you where there seems to be no way in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bring every person that is sick in body today, our colleagues, our family members, every person that we know that is bound by sickness, we command that sickness to go. We take authority over that sickness, for you have given us authority to trample, mighty God, upon snakes and scorpions. Therefore, Father, I also thank you that your healing power, your healing virtue and anointing anointing flows through the bodies of your people today in the name of Jesus every fiber every muscle every nerve is being is being made whole today in the name of Jesus we come against HIV AIDS we come against uh, uh, the coronavirus we come against high blood pressure we come against cancer we come against Parkinson's disease in the name of Jesus father I thank you every other infirmity every other ailment I thank you mighty God that by your stripes we are healed and today we are walking in the Zoe life of God in the name of Jesus father touch your people wherever they may be in the clinics in the hospitals touch them mighty God be merciful be gracious to them in the name of of Jesus in the powerful name of Jesus and even right now father I thank you and I give you praise honor and glory that father even as we seek after these things you have given us a command to seek your kingdom first and your righteousness therefore father i thank you that we will continue to hunger and thirst after your presence and your righteousness and all these things shall be added unto us father thank you that we will continually be found in your presence in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus and i plead the blood of jesus I plead the blood of Jesus over every single person that is watching today. Uh, Maria, I plead the blood of Jesus over you and your family. Uh, Maria, in the, U in the USA, Maria and Louis De Diebru, we plead the blood of Jesus over your family. Every person watching, Dean Ferreira, we apply the blood of Jesus over your family. Lebraria subracando, reketelebosia babaya, lembro kondo rebabasia atha. The blood of Jesus, Isabel. I plead the blood of Jesus. Lebondo bosia, Sarel, Pastor Sarel, lebracando. He says, "May God help me to forgive. May He release me from every spirit of bitterness." Mighty God, the Lord releases you today. He sets you free in the name of Jesus. Connie uh, Barkas, he says, difficult, but I forgive the colleagues at work who has wronged me. I'll say this over and over and set us all free. Thank you, God, for forgiveness and forgiving me and my sins. Father, I pray for Isabel right now. I pray for Rachel Young. I pray for Ntidi Seng. 
I pray for Nkosa Zana Ngombani. I pray for Zuki Iswa. I pray for Pico. In the name of Jesus. I pray for Dipulelo. In the name of Jesus. I pray for, for Pelos Mbudu. I pray for Cindy Naidu. That we will walk in love and forgiveness. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Lebrando Rebo Simandabaya. Cheryl Ann. Rachel, Bobs, we pray for you. We plead the blood of Jesus over your life today. And through the blood of Jesus, you overcome every obstacle in the name of Jesus. We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Le brobosi calabariasso. Subi, we pray for you. Le brando bossi calamacatarabariasataya. Abre condoro robossa. Sister Isabel says it, it, it also stops our prayer life. Bitterness, anger, unforgiveness. It stops, it stagnates our prayer life. Deal with it today. Allow the Lord to release you today from unforgiveness in the name of Jesus. Lebraria Sandobo Sikaya. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. The Lord is faithful. Connie Barkis. Connie Barkis. Lebron Dobo Sialabando. The blood of Jesus. We apply it over your life today. Renir, Sandra, we apply the blood of Jesus over you this morning. In the name of Jesus. Upon our families. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. It protects us. It cover us today in the name of Jesus. Every plan, every strategy, every decoy of the enemy, we overcome it by the blood of Jesus. That's how we overcome with the word of our testimony and the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, we continue to apply the blood and we release the power that is in the blood. The same power that was in the blood that flowed out of Jesus' body more than 2,000 years ago. There is still power in the blood that will cause us to overcome the struggles and the, 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 the decoys of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is good. Uh, I'm filled with so much love this morning. I, I'm just filled with so much love. I'm filled with so much love. I know that the Lord spoke to me uh, uh, truly, uh, and I can say this without being ashamed this morning. That there are people that I need to forgive and release. There are people that I, even as a man of God, had to forgive. And I know that the Lord spoke to me this morning, and I plan to do exactly that. So I believe every time we come on set and we, we share the word with you, it doesn't mean that everything is well with us. So always, you know, recognize where there's issues in your life uh, where you also need to deal with. Allow God to really show you those things and begin to walk in humility. So I plan to do exactly that and uh, approach certain people and really uh, share my heart and, and release them. Release bitterness. Release anger. We are human beings. We are human beings. We do feel uh, in this way, but, but let us be Christ-like. Let us be Christ-like and display the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Family, thank you for joining me and Pastor Pinky here this morning. Continue to pray for us. Continue to pray for us. Uh, uh, we also need prayers from you, uh, beloved. So pray for us and stay together in prayer with us um, as we continue to do the work of the Lord. So tomorrow morning, we're going to continue. We're going to look at another parable, a lesson to live by from jesus christ we're going to look at that tomorrow morning at 6 a.m so don't miss out have yourselves a wonderful wonderful day but i personally before we go want to thank every single one of you who made an effort to be in the house of the lord yesterday morning as well as yesterday evening thank you so much god bless you as we as a collective you know uh, uh, as one as we advance the kingdom of God together. Thank you. And we are looking forward once again to seeing you this coming Sunday at 10 a.m. at our church building as well as 5 p.m. in the house of the Lord. We are doing this thing together. Hallelujah. God bless you. We love you. And we'll see you tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. God bless you. Mwah.